The Zunick Award was first presented in May 2001 to honor Mike and Judy Zunick, whose courage, bravery, and selflessness was exemplified on July 18, 1989, during United Airlines Flight 232. The pilot, anticipating landing difficulties, requested some volunteers to assist passengers in the event of an emergency. Mike and Judy volunteered to leave their seats in first class and sit at one of the exit doors. Tragically, as the plane made a crash landing in Sioux City, Iowa, Mike and Judy both lost their lives, while those in the Zunix original seats survived. Mike and Judy were high school sweethearts in Pennsylvania. Upon graduation, Mike came to Syracuse where he excelled as a four-year starter at linebacker. Remaining forever close, Mike and Judy married prior to Mike's senior year of college. Both were well-respected and admired amongst their friends and co-workers. The Zunick Award is given annually to a person or persons exemplifying Mike and Judy's courage, self-sacrifice, and spirit. Bill Coggill came to Syracuse as an All-American football player from Shaker High School and Deerfield Academy. He received his bachelor's degree from SU and a graduate degree from the University of Denver. Bill served as a medic with the Marines from 1968 to 1970 and was awarded the Purple Heart twice. While in Vietnam, he frequently bought candy for and shared his sea rations with the village children. Eventually, he became a favorite with the kids who affectionately referred to Bill as Kim Shi Water Boo, which roughly translates as Dr. Water Buffalo. In fact, Bill became especially close to one village child named Ty. Bill was so concerned about Ty's welfare living in a war zone that he gave Ty's parents enough money to send him to a school away from the fighting. Many years later, unexpectedly, Bill received a letter from Ty thanking him for his help. After his tour of duty, Bill returned to Syracuse to continue his college football career and went on to play professionally for the British Columbia Lions. He later worked as a field archaeologist in the western U.S. and South America before returning to Albany to work in his family's contracting business. Bill was an outdoorsman, a generous friend to all who knew him, and a loving husband and father. In recognition of the courageous and compassionate life he lived, a 2009 Zunick Award is presented posthumously to Bill Coggill. Norman Mordu played high school football as a quarterback in Elmira and was awarded a full football scholarship to Syracuse. Here, Coach Ben Schwartzwalder converted Norm to a running back and he played on the 1964 Sugar Bowl team. Norm graduated in 1966 with a bachelor's degree in economics. Following his completion of ROTC as a distinguished military graduate, he was commissioned into the regular army as a second lieutenant in the infantry and served in Vietnam. Lieutenant Mordu was awarded our nation's second highest military honor, the Distinguished Service Cross for Extraordinary Heroism, and the Bronze Star with V Device for Valor for courageous leadership and tenacious devotion to duty. He also received the Combat Infantryman's Badge, the Air Medal, the Purple Heart, and various campaign and service medals. Captain Mordu was medically retired in December 1968 as a result of wounds sustained in combat. Following the war, he returned to Syracuse and graduated from the College of Law in 1971. He worked his way up from law clerk to chief assistant district attorney to Onondaga County Court Judge to New York State Supreme Court Justice to chief United States District Judge for the Northern District of New York. Judge Mordu was a driving force in creating the Korea Vietnam Memorial in downtown Syracuse, the first monument of its kind in the country. He has received numerous awards for his competence, integrity, leadership, and service as a football player, a military leader, and as an attorney. And now, a 2009 Zunick Award is presented to Judge Norman Mordew. 